Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on GMAP TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming up for the first time. For regular, just show the usual. Please like and comment and also share our videos so that you won't miss one of the videos that we do. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So yes, we have noticed that President Emerson Mnangagwa and his officials as well as his supporters continue to downplay the to, and, and to mislead the nation and the region that Zimbabwe is not a subject for concern and discussion at the ongoing Southern African Development Community private and public engagements on the political and security situation in the region. But the truth is Zimbabwe was on the agenda and was discussed today at the extraordinary summit chaired by Angolian President Joao Lorenzo in Rwanda received the SADC election observer mission report on the recent disputed polls in the country. The report rejected the outcome of the elections, saying it did not meet the standards of set by the Constitution, Electoral Act, and the SADC principles and guidelines governing democratic elections. So the truth of the matter, guys, is Zimbabwe was on the age was on the agenda and is, is still on the agenda of the SADC. So the Southern African Development Community leaders today received a report on the Zimbabwe's recent disputed elections, which is now part of its official records. And this happened at an extraordinary summit in Luanda, Angola, and a communique issued after the summit said summit received an update on the elections in the SADC member states and noted the report of the SADC election observation mission to the harmonized elections in the Republic of Zimbabwe held in August 2023 and the general elections in the Kingdom of Eskwatin in September 2023. So President Emerson Nangagwa and his Foreign Affairs and International Trade Minister Frederick Shawa tried but failed to stop Sadiq from discussing Zimbabwe. The Zimbabwean situation also poses a political and security threat to the region, especially due to tidal waves of illegal immigration across borders triggered by the country's protracted economic and social problems. About 4 million of Zimbabwe, a quarter of the population, have fled home due to political and economic holes. This means Sadak must now act on Zimbabwe by ensuring that there is a political settlement. A team will be appointed to deal with this situation.